Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by Magnetite Iron Ore Developer MacArthur Minerals, ASX code MIO. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Executive Chairman of MacArthur Minerals, Cameron McCall. Hi Cameron. Hi Matt. Okay, now with new discoveries of higher grade hematite iron ore drying up and billionaires like Gina and Twiggy now investing in lower grade magnetite iron ore, the race is on to find the next big magnetite deposit that can be kicked into production. One project that might fit that bill is MacArthur Minerals Lake Giles Magnetite Iron Ore Project west of Menzies that MacArthur says can be beneficiated up to even higher grades than typical hematite. Okay, Cameron, so Twiggy Forest I see is now advertising for staff for Fortescue's brand new Iron Bridge Magnetite Iron Ore Mine and all of a sudden magnetite is now a thing. Why is that? Simply green steel. It can be manufactured in electric art furnaces which is certainly much more green than the blast furnaces and hematite. Okay, well, this week Horsens Iron put their bankable feasibility study for their magnetite iron ore project on ice, citing economic conditions. Does that cast a bit of a shadow over other magnetite projects like yours? Well, certainly not ours, Matt. The projects are completely different. Lake Giles has an ore grade of 30% in the ground. Horsens is about 17%. They need to go through twice as much ore as us to produce a tonne of magnetite concentrate. Also, Lake Giles has access to a deep water port esperance suitable for cape sized vessels. Horsens requires transshipment operation using 17,000 tonne barges out to the cape vessel. Esperance port has a rotary car dumper and ship loader with potential capacity. Horsens require upgrades including a ship loader and pipe conveyor. Yeah okay all right fair point. How big is Lake Giles? What's the resource and the reserve at Lake Giles now and, and what can you beneficiate the grade up to? Well we've got 1.2 billion tonnes based on the feasibility which was done on two 237 million tonnes. That can be beneficiated up to over 66% for a 25-year mine life. All right, so you said you've completed a feasibility study on Lake Giles. Let's run through some of the key numbers with some rapid-fire questions. Firstly, what will it cost you to get this thing into production? What's the capex? 801 million. And what uh, what long-term iron ore price have you modelled over that 25-year mine life? And what will it cost you to produce a tonne of iron ore? Well, we've come in under $100 at $99 long-term. It'll cost us $71.70 for US to produce a tonne. What's the net present value of the project in today's money? $816 million. And how much free cash will it spit out over that 25 years? $3.625 billion. Cameron McCall from MacArthur Minerals, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears. And remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, but you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB and 3AW websites and click the Public Companies tab.